Okay, hey, and welcome to you. This is the Taboo Podcast from Las Vegas. Yes, exactly right. The Taboo Podcast from Las Vegas, Nevada. You have arrived at episode seven of season eight. That's right. Episode seven of season eight. Our topic in this podcast episode is getting rid of self-imposed sexual repression. Wow. Imagine that. Self-imposed sexual repression. You know it does exist. Maybe you have personal experience with self-imposed sexual repression. Maybe you have lied to yourself about being straight when you actually were born gay. Yeah, it happens. It happens a lot. So let me turn things over right now in this podcast episode to a Las Vegas artist and storyteller. He is someone who knows about self-imposed sexual repression. He did it to himself. But then he changed his ways of thinking and looking at the world all around him. He succeeded in getting rid of self-imposed sexual repression. I'll let him explain it to you, okay? Here we go. Bleed and hurt like men do. That's the title of a deeply personal and uninhibited expression of what I discovered in my life as I sought when I was young to discover what it means to be a man. That title represents a declaration. I'm declaring to myself that I must aggressively fight against emotional and sexual repression that I knew during my youth and that I eventually learned how to replace. So what did I replace it with? I will tell you, I made a deliberate choice to become a renegade artist and storyteller to fight against what had been my emotional and sexual repression. Very simple. I am known as a rebellious renegade. The word renegade is an apt description of me because I, over the course of my life, I chose deliberately to break with and separate myself from established customs and traditions. This choice to be different started when I was a boy. My parents sent me to a Roman Catholic church school from grades 1 through 12. I did what everyone instructed me to do. Part of what I was taught was a set of details of unacceptable thoughts and desires that boys all around me supposedly had. All of us boys in Catholic school were taught we must avoid intimate male-to-male touching, which was deemed to be impure. Masturbation, touching yourself in an impure manner, was deemed to be a sin for which you would spend eternity down in the fires of hell after you died. The nuns and priests also taught me and all my fellow male classmates that sex had to wait until we got married. We were taught absolutely nothing in Catholic school about sexual attraction, which a male might feel for other males. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We were left to our own devices on that one. Oh, so you find men attractive? Fires of hell for you, boy. You're doomed. Totally and utterly doomed. Imagine in your mind an old photograph of Rock Hudson when he was young and hot. Any Roman Catholic boy who looked at pictures of Rock Hudson and then went ahead to touch himself in an impure way would earn a special place in the fires of hell. Or, so it was said, I wholeheartedly believe that renegades are created and nurtured, especially if there are people like me who, at one time in their lives, felt oppressed, repressed, and marginalized. Roman Catholic Church thoughts and behaviors that were deemed forbidden helped me choose the life of a renegade for myself. Those religious teachings during my youth succeeded in one thing. They propelled me away from believing in an almighty deity and from being a member of any organized religion. I chose instead to create renegade art depicting highly masculine men. I developed a style and a set of themes that are easily recognizable all around the world today in many countries. Today, I personally am inviting you to explore my renegade art depicting highly masculine men. I also share many stories I wrote about the behaviors of highly masculine men. All these images and the stories are available to you absolutely free of charge. You don't have to buy anything. You are under no obligation at all. Free means free. I want you to see and read what I have done. I am providing all of this for you at no cost. Let me tell you how to access all the free stuff I have posted for you. It's it's very simple and it's totally free. Just go to this web address bleed and hurt like men do dot com. That web address again is bleed and hurt like men do dot com. Totally free, no strings attached. I just want to share all this stuff with you today. Right now. Go to this web address, okay, bleed and hurt like men do dot com. That's bleed and hurt like men do dot com. I know you will have a great time there. Very good time, not kidding at all. Well, there you have it. This was the Taboo Podcast from Las Vegas, and you heard episode seven of season eight. Our topic in this podcast episode was getting rid of self imposed sexual repression. Can you pray away the gay? That's what many people in organized religion will assure you. They're not telling you the truth.
Instead, you can learn to accept who you really are and see all the good stuff which the Las Vegas artist and storyteller posted for you, free of charge. I will tell you how you can do that. Just go to this web address, bleedandhurtlikemendo.com. That's bleedandhurtlikemendo.com. Free access, nothing to buy, just have fun. Thank you for listening today to the Taboo Podcast from Las Vegas. Be sure to tell your friends about what you heard here today on the Taboo Podcast from Las Vegas.